Here we are, the Beer Idiots with Julia Lefferman at the Brewers of Europe Congress in Lille. Congratulations on becoming, I guess it's in August, the Secretary General of the Brewers of Europe. Uh, you mentioned in your opening speech uh, about the years ahead. What do you see and, and the upcoming European elections? There's a real turn against alcohol across Europe and across the world, as you mentioned. Well, we definitely see an opportunity for dialogue. We always seek such opportunity for dialogue. With a new European uh, Parliament and the new European Commission, we hope to be able to develop uh, such a dialogue with regards to the European Union approach to the health policies. We wish that the EU takes back um, um, the discussion of um, alcohol policies across EU and member states and that we are able to really discuss policies that can have a positive impact in terms of reducing harmful alcohol consumption and that whichever policies that will be eventually approved at the level of the European Union, they will be um, anchored in the principles of being proportionate, non-discriminatory and based on solid scientific evidence. That is critical. As we see our path forward, we need to effectively fight the harmful or abusive use of alcohol while still remaining uh, in the possibility to promote um, responsible consumption of beer. And of course, the <laughs> criticism from those politicians or policy makers who are against it are say, well, you're biased. You, you know, and I guess you have to depend on science to show, show this. And how do you get that science to the forefront? The, the science debate is um, clearly one debate that has to take place and it is for the scientists to address it. As far as we are um, concerned, as representative of the brewing industry, our message is clear. Beer is um, a fermented beverage which is uh, often low in alcohol. There are many options on the market that provide non-alcoholic beer as well. Uh, give, as a result of um, groundbreaking innovation and significant investments done by brewers, Today, one out of every 15 beers that is consumed in Europe is non-alcoholic. So there are ways to approach um, the need to reduce harmful alcoholic consumption. And beer is probably the beverage that is best equipped to, to be riding on this wave of change and to effectively address uh, the need to reduce um, abusive behaviors while still allowing citizens to enjoy their favorite uh, drink. Lastly, uh, you have a five-year mandate. I guess, is it? How, well, you're appointed. I'm at the beginning of my mandate. mandate yeah. Oh, what would you see as your looking ahead as would be your greatest achievement if you could wish it in the, in the, fi in the years coming for the brewers of Europe? Well, I have somewhere in my mind. <laughs> it's quite difficult to choose because what we are looking at is at a set of measures. Uh, but we, we know the beer sector is a pioneer of uh, sustainability practices and uh, a, a supporter and significant investment into developing circular economies across our markets. We would like this to be recognized in terms of the European legislation. So perhaps one of the first uh, um, developments, positive developments I will be seeking is uh, secondary legislation with regards to the packaging and packaging waste regulation that recognizes the, the role of beer in, in the market and the prom it being a promoter of uh, sustainability practices. So we do want our, for example, our keg, which represent uh, an important chunk of the beer volumes to be recognized as um, against our reusable targets. And lastly, let's talk about the small brewers, the artisanal craft sector. Maybe it's happening to the bigger and medium sized ones, but there's a huge, this year we're really seeing failures across Europe, especially in the UK, in Belgium, it's happening across Europe. What can the brewers of Europe do to help? To remain resilient. Well, that message is clearly for our 10,000 brewers across Europe is that they need to be, remain resilient against uh, the many challenges that they face. The brewers of Europe has a role to play when it comes to um, um, assisting and um, basically uh, working together with the European officials and decision makers to design a legislative framework that is supportive for the industry that not just um, focuses on bans, but addresses the need to boost innovation in the sector, to develop the sector, because beer has an important economic footprint. As an industry, we know that our positive impact ranges uh, or distributes across the entire value chain, from agriculture 
to transport, to um, uh, processors, and then to the hospitality sector and retail. There is a long line of uh, industries that are positively impacted by the brewer sector, by every small, medium-sized or large brewer that operates in Europe. So we need this support. We will be working towards getting, it getting this support that will um, eventually, ultimately benefit um, all the brewers, irrespective of their size. And I guess in Romania, do you see that fallout? Brewers failing because you have some great craft brewers and we've visited them. I, I'm talking about, you know, you have your large brewers. They have weathered the storm quite well. They might have lost some market. But what about the smaller brewers? Are they, they're failing as well? I mean, it has been a challenging time. It has been a challenging um, last years, a uh, number of years, uh, with the um, pandemic, first of all, that had a significant impact, especially on the small brewers that were very much dependent, depending on the hospitality sector to sell their beers. And then it followed the, the, the geopolitical conflict, the, the, the war in Ukraine followed quickly, uh, at, which led to an energy crisis that was a series of, uh, of uh, indeed of um, challenges for the industry. But the number of small brewers uh, is maintained and is slightly increasing now as we apparently move out of this crisis or challenges that we call them and uh, hopefully it will further increase. The, the, the craft brewers do offer a variety of tastes and increase the experience of consumers and together with the other brewers in the market all the brewers basically work towards serving the consumer the best possible experience when enjoying its beer. Thank you so much for talking to us and good luck in your mandate. Thank you very much. <laughs>